What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another Genesis video for you guys today and today guys, we're gonna try something. Now, as you guys all know, Shadow Mane's required to, uh, fish baskets to be tamed up. So, what I'm gonna try doing today is I'm going to try and make an aquarium so that whenever I want to tame up one, I can. Now, you guys just probably noticed I have a thatch foundation here because what you can actually do is you can trap coelacanths under it. Now, as well as that, you can also trap saber tooth salmon and all that sort of stuff. So, I'm looking for the big boys. Now, the one that we just got there was 1.2 times. So, it was a pretty chunky sized fish. So, I'm going to try and just repeat this. And you can see here that if you actually place a foundation over the top of the coelacanth or the fish that you're trying to capture, you can actually place the fish basket down on it and it won't be able to get out. You can see there, there's that coelacanth underneath it. So, I'm going to test this out. We're going to we're do, we're gonna do a couple of tests today while also trying to set up an aquarium. And I'm just trying to find some big boys. I'm also looking for saber tooth salmon. Because they have a higher affinity than coelacanths. So, if you want like a higher tier uh, shadow main, that's the way to go about doing it. Alright, so, we've got this big boy here. He's 1.3 times. So, that's actually the biggest fish we've seen so far. Um, and he is completely stuck. So he's not able to swim away. So what you want to do is we've found a low a low water live river. So I've just come in here. I've literally just f swam past on my May wing to take a look. And uh, we've already caught three fish by utilizing uh, the foundations. What have we got over here? Hold on. I'm just also keeping an eye out for any extra striders that we can tame because I want one. Okay, that's a 150. That ain't happening. Uh, we want some that uh, have the drill attachment still on them. So we can set them up to link with dedicated boxes. Um, but yeah, so that's what you want to do. So you want to try and find rivers like this where there's fish. Is that a saber tooth? That's a dead saber tooth salmon. Damn, I got it. Excited! These are the bastards I'm not looking forward to. Uh, we're also I'm gonna try and capture a couple of mega piranhas. Because they're gonna they're gonna come in handy when we get there. But I just want some saber tooth salmon first. Because like I said, they give us more affinity. What did you kill over here? Bunch of stuff. They give us more affinity. So I'm trying to... I've been trying to find a lake that has a whole heap of them. But we're actually on our way to somewhere. That should have some. Because I have seen them up there before. And you can see here, this coelacanth is absolutely trapped. Nowhere for it to go. It is only a 0 0.8. But even that should provide us with more uh, effectiveness and affinity than a normal Mega Piranha. Because Mega Piranhas can only go up to 1... Point zero, I believe. That's their maximum size. Don't you steal my fish, you bastard. That's the maximum size that piranhas can go up to. So... Oh, shit. Oh, at least it's not a baryonyx. Oh, that's a date on, though. Bro, you really want to do this, mate? You're gonna... Yeah, exactly. Anyone else? Anyone else? No. Okay. So, yeah. um, We're gonna take this thatch foundation with us. We've only got... Oh, I can't. Okay, whatever. We'll demolish it. I've only got a couple of foundations anyway, so, like, you don't need a lot to get this done. Okay, so already we've gotten a bunch of fish, right? So, this is just going to be good preparation. Our Maywing is possibly under attack. Ooh, some direwolves. What level are you guys? I do want a pack of direwolves to run around on. But I want some cool-looking ones. I don't want none of these cheap-looking ones. The white one does look pretty cool, but they're, they're not very high level. So, we're going to avoid that. Hold on. We've got another... Strider over here. 135. Cannot tame that one either. Alright, cool. Alright, let's keep going here. So the pond that we're heading up to is up the north there. It's at about 2070. You can see it on the map. So we're going to head up there in hopes that we can get a bunch of saber tooth salmon. Because I haven't really seen too many of them. I know that they do spawn up there. It's like a massive little... Massive... It's a massive little lake. I know that sounds weird, but trust me, it's a thing. Um, so yeah, so... I'm going to try and replicate this as best as I can. And then what we're going to do, because they expire, right? You can see there, they do have a spoil time. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to try and build an aquarium where they're fenced in. They can't escape, but we can actually drop them off. And what that does is whenever you want to use them, you can actually just go back out there, chuck the fishing basket out, and you can trap them again like that. 85. Ooh, 145 is kind of tempting. I love these guys. They look like African... Wild dogs. African painted dogs. They look so good. Alright, you know what? I might actually tame that 145 female. I've got to kill the rest of her pack. That's her there. I'm going to have to jump away here. 
so that we don't die. Parachute. Parachute to safety. That'll do. You sit right there, maybe. All right. This shouldn't take too long to knock out. 145. I'm just double checking the rest of the levels. 85. Okay. You can die. And Trank. Don't you run in the water. Don't you do what the Giga did to me. I'll wait till it swims across and then we'll Trank it again because I ain't going through that again. You're not so tough without your pack, are you? No, don't run in the water! <sighs> you really want to go me, Hesperonis? What do you think you are? Some kind of legendary bird? Get out of the water, dude. I don't know if you can knock these guys out, actually. Yeah, they have Torpor. Can you please get out of the water, Die Wolf? No, don't you go back in it. Oh, that headshot to finish it off, though. That was perfection. Oh, you really don't want to do this, Compy. Neither look at this. Look at this aggro dude. What are you trying to accomplish here, mate? Get yourself killed? You succeeded. And we've got another Compy. Get lost. Get out of here. All right, they're all dead. Okay, I'm going to just get some primate for this thing eventually. All right, I'm going to double check through here, make sure there's no big fishes that we should be getting. Now, the issue that I can see us having with the aquarium, the only issue I can see us having is the Hes... Oh, here we go. Look at this big chungus. That is a big saber-toothed salmon. We're going to wait till this swims down a bit. It's actually not even that big, but we're going to trap it nonetheless. Okay, that didn't trap it. Let's pick this up. Got it. Sweet. So you can see there, we managed to trap it. It took a couple of attempts. Okay, never mind. It got out. You want to make sure that you try and get it when it's on like the seabed. Because otherwise it'll just swim under. Where did it go? There it is. Otherwise it'll just swim under. But that should hold there. And what we're going to do, whack that down. And that should initialize. The saber tooth salmon should be fine there. Shouldn't be able to get out. No, doesn't look like it's getting out. And we're going to trap that. Beautiful. All right, pick this up and we'll keep going here. So yeah, you definitely want to go for saber tooth salmon. They will give you the best affinity. Alright, I need to kill the Bronto. I'm hoping this works, because if it works, it's going to be absolutely awesome. And it'll make taming Shadow Mains a lot easier for everyone. I've also got to try and come up with a trap for him, which I'm working on. Um, as well, because if we get a trap for a Shadow Main, then they're pretty much good as tame. Essentially. Alright, you're dead. Grab some prime off you. More than enough. Yeah, so I'm working on a trap for him. I've done a little bit of testing. Um, and it doesn't seem like you have much luck being able to actually kite them into it in the traditional sense. Like walking with them. You actually have to try and get them to teleport on you. That's what I found has worked. But uh, we'll see how we go. And I should eventually get a video out on them. Cool. That die wolf's as good as tamed. I've got to find our... Maywing. There he is over there. Hold on, we got another... Oh, wait, have you got the packs? Oh! <gasps> this is the one we want. This is the Dream Strider right here. It's got the drill bit and the packs. This is beautiful. 7 out of 20 missions, though. I really don't know if I can be bothered doing that. I don't know. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for it. I might leave this female die wolf out here so that we know where the Strider is. I don't think we should be doing a, a dino wipe anytime soon. I don't know. Depends on when the servers uh, update, I guess. But... That's an alpha. Let's kill that. There's two alphas here. Kill these alpha raptors real quick. I don't know what it's trying to hit a fish. Esperonis, possibly. Bro, get lost. You're not invited to this party. It's having a very hard time hitting whatever it is it's trying to hit. Okay. Anytime now, mate. There we go. Got him. Alright, where's his friend over here? Let's just check he didn't drop anything exciting. I also have to keep an eye out on the spoil timers of the fish because we don't want them spoiling. That would be the worst. Alright, we've got another coelacanth. We've got a couple of coelacanths in here, actually. I'm going to pop that down and I'll try and trap this guy as well. Don't snap. Oh, he got out. Damn it, I can't do it because it's trying to snap to automatically this one. 
Oh, we actually had that guy. Alright. Uh, I'm going to kill these Mega Piranhas, because I don't want none of that. Okay, this guy is trapped. i got fish baskets still. Well, didn't see that coming, did I? Nope. Alright, we're going to get back out there. I uh, should be able to just spawn somewhere out here. If I can get over there. Summerworth, Twin Tears. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Yeah, alright. Let's go Summerworth then. Hopefully our Maywing doesn't get killed by it. Otherwise, that could be disastrous. But yeah. So the goal for today is... I mean, we've, we've already been sidetracked like six times over. We have a lot... We just need to follow this river, really. Um, the goal for today is to get this aquarium up and running. So my idea is we're going to trap all these fish, right? We're going to take them back to the, the river near our base. It's literally like right out the front. Now, I've seen a couple of Hesperonuses spawn in it. So I, th I think it'll be okay. But what we're going to do is we're going to release them and we're just going to wall it up. That's literally it. We're going to... Actually, you know what? We might foundation and wall it up. And then we'll release the fish inside of that. I was thinking we could do a moon pool. But I don't know if it's deep enough, f deep enough for us to be able to do that. So, and then what we can do is we, we just essentially, I don't think you can breed fish. I'm pretty sure that's not a thing. Uh, but then what we can do is we can actually just trap the fish whenever we want to, uh, yeah, trap the fish whenever we want to use them. Okay, we're almost there because these are the striders. Just want to make sure our uh, main wing's okay. Die wolf, there's our body bag. Okay, let's kill this alpha raptor here. Honestly, we could probably move on, but I want to kill this bastard. He's messed up my fish. Plus, he doesn't seem that strong. Especially if I can get those headshots off on him. Get the headshots. Got him. Another one. Another one. Woo! Go up. Go up again. Can I not hit you? Do I switch to explosives? Oh, okay. Bit of lag there. Kill the raptor. Kill the bastard. There we go. He's dead. Let's kill his followers. It's like a little cult he's got going on. Alright, they're done. Sweet. Okay, let's jump in here. I've got to keep an eye on the fish basket. Spoiling time. I don't know where our, I don't know how far away our thingy is. I'm just gonna. Okay, this stupid psycho has decided to ruin everything. He can die too. Okay, did we catch that fish? No, it's probably dead. Can I pick these up? I can repair it though. Repair it. Pick that up. Honestly, we could probably get by with what we've got. Can I not repair this? Um, Alright, let's go find 1.2. I'm really tempted to just catch these guys while we're here. Okay, he's trapped. Awesome. So you can see how easy it is in these in these whoops. In these low these low rivers, it's easier to do it than like the deep depths because you'll find that they I swim closer to the, the ground, obviously, here. And you can see we've not an issue. Not a care in the world. Let's grab that. Let's get back to our maiming. I need to check the Oh, hold on. Before we do that, though, look at this big boy. Another one we can capture. Just like that. Initializing. And then... Oh, look at this guy. Alright, we're going to have to capture these guys because they are... They're big boys. They're not like two times or anything, but they're still big boys. Catch that. Pick that. And let's go for this green one over here. Hey, mate. How's it going? Don't you move. Stay right there. Awesome. And... Trap. Cool. Cool. Honestly, we could leave and come back and it'd still be there as well. That's another saber tooth salmon. Yeah, they're getting eaten by the birds. Which is annoying, but that's what that's the one thing I'm worried about if we set up this aquarium. Did I not get him in the range? Let's do that there. I'll pick that up then. And catch it, catch it, catch it. Done. Okay. Let's head back to our Maywing. How much do these weigh? Why do they... They seem like... No, they're still 15. Okay, I thought they were weighing less. Uh, there's a saber tooth salmon there, but... It's only a smaller one, so I'm not going to bother. Where is... Our Maywing? There's our dire wolf. I don't think our Maywing was this far down. No, it was definitely further up. 
Okay, Direwolf, you can, you're staying here for the time being, because there it is. We need you to determine where our uh, where that strider is. So you can stay there. We know it's up the river somewhere. All right. I'm going to... Oh, hold on. Let's check the spoil times. Okay, we've got about half an hour, so that's fine. Let's get up to this river. I've got... How many fish baskets have I got left? I've got nine fish baskets left. So I've got enough to... Sorry, nine. Where am I counting? I've got four fish baskets left. So we've got enough to, to catch a couple more saber-toothed salmon. But if you guys find mega piranhas and stuff like that in the river, just kill them. Because I'm telling you now, the coelacans and the saber-toothed salmon are definitely worth more. Let's get back on you. I'm going to keep heading back up to this little uh, area that I know about up the top here. And hope that there's some saber-toothed salmon that are there. Otherwise, it's going to be a very awkward conversation. But you can even see here, at this little bit here. I mean, I'm going to try and not fight the Baryonyxes in the water. Get out, Maywing! Okay, we are stuck on something. We're stuck on all the tames. Hopefully none of these guys are super strong. So I don't kill the strong tame. Yep, now we're good. Okay. Um, yeah, there's nothing really here. I thought there might be a couple of tames. Uh, a couple of fish, but nothing. Alright, let's keep going up. I'll bring you guys back when we're up at this river. But like, all you need to do is check these major waterways in Genesis 2. And like, they're really... Oh shit, we don't want to fight here. They're really shallow. So like, they're shallow enough that once you kill all the stuff in them, you shouldn't have an issue catching any of the fish. Is this another one? Hold on one second. Oh no, it's got the face cannon. It does have a pretty cool color scheme though, I'm not going to lie. What level is it? 85. Can't tame it. Alright, let's get up here. There it is over there. And we'll see what we can find. I'm hoping that there are some saber tooth salmon up here. Otherwise, this little journey kind of would have been for nothing. Here we go. Please be fish. There is no fish in there today. Okay, I've had fish spawn in here before. Uh, not like crazy absurd amounts, but like six or seven of them. Um, and it makes trapping them in there easier because it's not very uh, deep as you guys saw. But I think we'll just chill on the river. There's another river over here, so we'll head over here. And we'll just cruise around in this for a bit, see what we can find. Uh, I don't think we'll find too many fish in this one. There are the Oh yeah, look at this, look at this, here you go. Alright, so I'll show you guys this location on the map, but all we're going to need to do is kill these Hesperonises. Before they eat all our fish. Kill the Mega Piranhas. So they don't bug us while we're trying to get them. Bro, stop eating my fish! And look at all the fish swimming through. There's tons. Can I hit this piranha? Thank you. One's down. Fiomia, you scared me for a second. But yeah, look at all the fish here. Heaps. So, we're going to kill this mega piranha here. Try and kill this mega piranha here. Kill this other Hesperonis, otherwise he's going to eat all our fish. Um, and that looks like that's pretty much all the threats. Okay, so the location of this place, I've been here before, is... Where are we? About 2572. So head over here and like you can see there's a bunch of fish. There's a 1.3 big boy. If we just whack... Even if you just whack down your, um... Your fish basket, you're, you're guaranteed to get one. So don't worry about that, but this is initializing to catch this 1.3 times. So we're going to catch this big boy. There was the saber tooth salmon over here. There's another 1.2 over there. We're going to catch all these guys because it's going to be worth it when we get our aquarium up and running, which I'm hoping works. I keep drinking my damn canteen. Bright red, 1.2 times. Let's catch this guy. Has he got? We got him? We catch him? Not yet, but I mean, we could probably just chuck down the fish basket and he would swim into it of his own volition. Where are you, mate? There we go. He's not moving out of that. Whack the fish basket on top. It's already initializing. Uh, i got to find those saber-toothed salmons. I don't know where they went, but we'll find them eventually. Oh, I think he got out. He did get out. So, I'm hoping this works. Did I get my... Can I press the right button, please? Let's try this again. Did I not pick up the fish basket? Oh, it's just added onto that. That's fine. There we go. It looks like he's pretty stuck there now. But like, yeah, at, at shallows this shallow, you won't need to worry about... Oh, that's a 140 otter. You won't need to worry about 
having to trap them or anything because you can see here that it's already pretty shallow. So all you need to do is sit by your fish basket and you'll eventually catch something. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find that saber tooth salmon or any big boys. These look like big boys down here. 1.3. I mean, I've got two more baskets, so we'll catch this guy and then we'll catch that saber tooth salmon. Can you freak off? Goodbye, Raptor. Hopefully you didn't damage my foundation. Trap the 1.3. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. Where did that saber tooth salmon go? Here it is. Look, that's not even moving, so we don't even need to worry about trapping it if we didn't want to. We're going to be safe here, though, and you can see there it's trapped. Let's chuck that down. And we're good. And like you can see here, you won't even need to trap this guy. You could chuck a fish basket down and you'd be right. Oh, saber tooth salmon, where'd you go? Did you get out? Maybe you died? I don't know. Where'd it go? Okay, we're going to go on the hunt for a saber tooth salmon. I uh, don't see it. Unless it swam this way. It's got to have swam this way. Unless it just despawned or something weird like that happened. Another raptor? Goodbye, Raptor. Trailer bite. What is hitting me now? Another one of you. That was a 168. I probably should have tamed that. Um, I don't know where that saber tooth salmon went, but we got another coelacanth here. Is he a big boy? He's an 8. 1.1. He's alright. Like that over the top of him? Did it get him? No. Pick it up again. Try again. And when you compare this to, like, the painfulness of catching Mega Piranhas, this is definitely a better option, I would say. Um, and like, you're not gonna, I mean, you still get hit by Mega Piranhas if they're in the area, but like, this is so much more peaceful. So, I've completely filled up all my fish baskets. Let's head back to Perry. Did we bring Perry today? Yeah, we did take Perry. Let's head back to Perry. We'll take a look in Perry's inventory. I've got no more fish baskets. Let's whack all these in here. So, you can see there, that's taken us about 15-ish minutes to catch all those fish, which in all hindsight, would honestly probably have taken me the same amount of time to catch Mega Piranhas. Plus, these are worth more because we get more taming effectiveness with them. So, think about that. But what we're going to do now is we'll head back to our area. And I've got the structures already made. And all we need to do is put the fish in there. And that should allow us safe passage to be able to catch them whenever we want. So, I'm going to try this aquarium strategy. See if it works. This was just something that kind of popped in my head. And I was like, instead of having to spend all day... Trying to catch some bloody mega piranhas. What if we went in prepared with a bunch of fish already caught and stuff? And, you know, I mean, obviously you don't have to do this right before you go and tame a shadow main. But you can get some tribe mates to go out and do it. And you guys can do something in the meantime while uh, they go catch some fish and chuck them in an aquarium. So, I'll see if this works. I'm secretly hoping it does. I haven't actually tested this yet. So, I've just brought you guys along. What is that? Just a rock? I brought you guys along just to see if it'll it'll work, but if this aquarium works, then all we need to do is spend like 10 minutes a day doing this and we'll be sweet. So this is the area I'm talking about right here. Nothing really hostile spawns in. There's a couple of Hesperonuses, but that's it. But what we're actually going to do is they'll all be fenced in anyway. So, and there's Mega Piranhas, as you can no doubtably hear. Okay, they're dead. I kind of want to tame this otter. I'm a sucker for otters. I don't know where those Hesperonis has gone, but that shouldn't matter. So let's grab Perry. We're going to get back up to base and I'll show you guys what we're going to do. Also, guys, we uh, we actually planted some of our meat seeds in the tech crop plots that we had up here. Um, but unfortunately, it didn't work out how we wanted to. So I'm going to have to... Oh, shit. I forgot about the shadow man. Oh, he's all raised. Damn, I wanted to imprint on him. We also successfully managed to raise a singular shadow man. Why is his health so low? What is he being? He hasn't been getting attacked by anything. Uh, this actually got the dad and the mums the, the best stats out of a lot of them. Is it a female? It is a female. Okay, let's... Uh, we're going to disable mating on, on the female here because this female is actually better. I mean, she's going to get jiggy with her dad, but that's something we can live with. Um, boom. All the, best cat, all the best pedigrees come from inbreeding. Don't you know? All right, so they're going to get breeding, um, and that's going to be guaranteed to get the stats that we want. Um, and yeah, you can see here we planted the plants, however, uh, they're, they're facing the wrong way. I didn't want them facing inwards, and it's because I placed the crop plots like that. I didn't realize we placed them backwards. Um, what I'm waiting for, though, is they'll eventually produce a seed, which we can take out, and then I'll replant them. But yeah, 
They look pretty terrifying. I haven't had actually given it a shot of uh, harvesting them yet either. So we'll give that a shot later. But what we need to do right now is grab some structures. So we want to go stone here. Reason we're going stone is because nothing can, uh, no dinos can damage it. None that are going to be found in this water bit anyway. We're going to go two of these. And we're going to go seven walls. Because we're going to just close it all up with a door as well. And that should be enough space for everything. You know what? I might actually go another two more foundations. Let's go 16 walls then. Six of them. That'll do. Yeah, I'll bring you guys back when this is all done and I'll show you what we're going to do. Alrighty guys, we're ready to go. We've got all the structures. Now, you can build this however you want, I'm assuming, at this stage. I, like I said, I haven't actually tested this out. But we're going to do it now and hopefully this works... I'm hoping it works. So, we've got some stone structures. I've got some greenhouse ceilings as well, just to make it a little bit prettier. Uh, on PvP, you might not want to do this, though, with the greenhouse. I'm just thinking it'll look nicer with a few glass walls mixed into it. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to come over here. Actually, you know what? This No, you know what? This should be deep enough, but what we're going to do, I don't think... We're actually going to go somewhere deeper. So, there's a little section just over here by the waterfalls, and if you come down here, it's like... Not super deep, but it's deeper. So this is actually a good spot. So I'm going to do it over here, right? Right against here. And what we're going to do, we're going to whack the foundations down, which I've already put in my hotbar. Right, so we're going to whack these. I'm just going to say flush-ish against the wall here. Like that. Okay, great. And we'll go like that. And how many foundations did I create? All right, we'll go like that. So it's a three by two. Okay, and then what we're going to do, we'll chuck some walls in. Or maybe one there, one there on each end. Like that, sure, that works fine. I don't really care. It's just for purely aesthetics. We'll whack these down. I'm going to leave that for an entryway. If we really wanted to, we could probably go too high. I don't think it's necessary, though. Some greenhouse ceilings. I didn't make a doorway because I'm an idiot. Um, okay, hold on, i got an idea. Except because S Plus is an amazing mod, it's not going to let us do it like that. Okay. Done. And if we go doorway now, we should be able to make... Uh, make one of those. And I just probably need to demolish another wall. Like that. Okay, cool. And then we'll just demolish this wall and that should be enough to give us... What we need for the door itself. Okay. Done. And now all that needs to be done is drop the fish off. So let's whack this door down. Beautiful. We've got the greenhouse so we can actually see the fish. Perry's not going to drown because Perry's a beast. Let's grab the fish here. We're going to grab a couple of them. At a time. Alright. Sweet. Alright, so all we need to do now is swim in here. Close that. I'm going to turn off auto thing because it's super annoying. Alright, and now all we need to do is hit that. <laughs> I don't know why it says Shadow Man is already eating. But there, look. So, here on out, you, you've got tamed fish in a pen. I'm not exactly sure why it says Shadow Man is eating, but like, done. Now, you can't actually get these guys to mate, as far as I can tell. Can you mate fish? No, they've got no mate boost thing, and it says gender and A, so yeah, they can't mate. One thing I would recommend, though, is uh, separating them with a little bit of space. Obviously, our dudes are stacked on top of each other, because I decided to unleash them all. But, like, if you go out a couple of days and just grab some fish like this, you're going to easily have an aquarium, so that when you want to actually go out and tame some shadow mains, you'll have all the good fish ready to go, so you don't have to worry about um, going out and taming some mega... trying to get the mega piranhas in your fish basket, because you've already got them all ready. And this keeps them safe from any predators or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about anything getting eaten or anything like that. I don't think they have a food bar. They do have a food bar, but I don't know what they would eat. And like, it doesn't seem like it's dropping. This was the first one we dropped. It doesn't, yeah, it's food's not dropping. So I'm not too sure. I'll, I'll test. I mean, we'll find out today when we hop off the server and see if any of them die. But... 
yeah, honestly, guys, I'd recommend doing an aquarium like this because it's going to make your life a lot easier. I would probably go too high as well if you really wanted to, just to give yourself a little bit more space. But, like, look. I mean, the only downside is obviously we've got no fish baskets left to use because we used them all and we've destroyed them all, releasing all the fish. But, like, they're fish baskets. If that's the difference between you getting a max perfect tame shadow main where you've got to spend an extra five minutes farming up some resources for them, check it out. Easy. So now whenever we want to go tame a shadow main, we can do so by just bringing some fish baskets down here and trapping these guys. So honestly, I reckon this is a great idea. I mean, I like the greenhouse walls. It's purely aesthetic, so. But I don't think these guys will die. And if they do die, we'll get a notification. So we'll know that we can come out and trap the rest of them. But as far as I can tell, their food isn't dropping. And you don't need to worry about oxygen because you've got your tech suit. So honestly, I reckon this is a pretty genius idea. Um, and I've shown you guys how to capture the fish. I wouldn't bother trying to catch any of the fish in here unless they're like right down on the bottom of the ocean floor. But just head on over to that spot that I showed you on the map. Uh, what was it? I think it was like 20... Wait, where are we? Yeah, 2072 or something. 2572, I think it was something like that. So just head over there and like, look, it, it took us a matter of 10 minutes to get all these fish. And these will definitely be better than... Mega Piranhas, I can guarantee you that. So, yeah, um, I feel like we've accomplished a lot. I like the little aquarium. I could definitely make it a bit bigger, but there are plenty of spots in the water where you can do this. Even if you do this in the Rockwell's Garden Zone, you would just build it out of stone. I wouldn't recommend using Greenhouse. Just build it out of stone and you'll be fine. And you can store your fish down in there. And then whenever you want to tame a Shadow Mane or, you know, if you've got tribe mates doing something, because the fish baskets do have like a, I think it's a 40-minute spoil timer. So if you haven't found one and you need to find one, you're going to be in trouble if you've got nowhere to release your, your fish safely. So I'm glad we've built the aquarium. I will use it to go tame some shadow mains eventually. Probably another 150 female, because I think our female is a 145. Um, yeah, so I think we'll do that, because I think it's a good idea. But what I'm going to do, we're going to come back up here. I'm going to breed some maywings today. I have no idea who has the better stats out of our maywings. Which is something I probably should have kept track of. Um, but I'm going to also check on our shadow mains. Because I want to get an imprinted one of those. Because we missed the imprinting on... Oh, we got twins. Twins? 225? Unless... Yeah, twins. Did I turn her mating off? No, I didn't turn her mating off. Okay. That explains it then. 217. Why are you so low? Your health is recovering. Who's got the food here? Actually, you know what? This is the perfect time to test our new plants as well. Let's grab the chainsaw. Here we go. We should get literally tons of meat from this. Uh, so we've got spoiled, prime, and regular. Did that damage the crop plot? No. Can I not harvest it yet because it's not fully grown? Or is it just hitting the stone? Hmm, I think it's hitting our structures. I don't know. That's weird. Unless they're not, they're just not fully grown yet. Which is, a, I should probably get the food in the baby's inventory first before we mess around with the plants. Uh, yeah, it could be because it's not fully grown yet, which is what I'm thinking it might be. Okay. Those guys have food on them. Oh my god, the Shadow Man was about to die. I don't really care about this one though. It's got the lower health. You should have the good health and good melee damage. 5, 6, 325. Awesome. Cool. Alright. Uh, you know what? Honestly, we'll just let this one die. I'm not too worried about you. You're supposed to be disabled anyway from mating. And whack that in there. I'd rather keep the baby one alive. I want to get full imprinting on this one. I could have sworn I disabled your mating. Yeah, I did. Oh, you must have had it gestating, I guess. Okay, that's done. Uh, let's come back over here. I'm trying to figure out why we can't harvest these plants. It's got the health bar. Demolish. I don't want to demolish it because we lose the seed, I think. It's got a health bar. Hmm. Is it because it's too close to our structures? It's got like, the, like we're hitting the rock animation. See? Which makes me think that it might be too close to our structure. I'm not damaging the crop plot. I don't know. Uh, can I access that? Have you got a seed? No. It says fruitling, so I'm pretty sure fruitling is the fully grown version of it. Seedling is the thing before it. 
I don't know. Um, what we'll do, actually, we can test it. Let's grab you. And... Once you finish dropping a poo, you done. Thank you. That was a very long animation. What we're going to do is come down here. Belly flop. We should get some seeds. That'll do. Tinto berries as well. I'll take them all. I actually want to get a crop plot, a whole crop plot set up, section set up so that we have seeds everywhere. All right. All of these are fertilized. They're all irrigated as well. I'm just going to put that in. I want to see what happens. Seedling. It should grow to a fruitling. So seedling, yeah. So seedling is what that one's at. These guys are at fruitling. So they should allow us to harvest it. Unless, like I said, it's just way too close to the to our structure. I don't know. Okay, that's growing. I'm not too sure what the what the situation is with that. That's a, that's a bit weird. All right, let's get some Maywings breeding though. Um, I don't know who we want to breed. Can you guys breed? What are you doing over here? You're not invited to this party. Level ninety. I mean, I don't know what. Let's just get you mating and... Oh, what am I doing? I could just freaking use the Maywings to... I'm such an idiot sometimes. I'm so dumb. I could just use the Maywings to freaking raise the freaking Shadow Mane. Oh, you're a fool. You're an absolute fool. Periwinkle. I'm pretty sure Periwinkle. Someone has more mating boost. Yeah, nursing effectiveness, 175%. I mean, let's pick up the baby. Uh, is it R? C? One of these picks up the baby. I could have sworn one of them picks up the baby. There we go. So you hit C to press the to pick up the baby. So I'm pretty sure that's a uh, thumbstick. Oh, I was trying to save that one and died. Uh, but I mean, this this <laughs> this one doesn't have any food on it anyway, so it's not really going to matter. We'll take it out and get some though. What can I kill to get some food? What level are you? Level ninety. We'll kill this horse. Sorry, Equus. Today's not your lucky day. Oops, I just hit our mailing. Here we go. Let's grab this and chainsaw the poor sucker. Thank you for your your kind contribution. I don't need the pelt. I'll take the meat. Alright, what I'm going to do as well is we're going to go down and check the, the fish. I want to make sure that none of their food's dropping. Our bloody Maywing's also completely low on food. I think I raised it up, actually. Uh, nursing, nursing, nursing. Enable baby feeding. Okay, so that should deal with the, the baby. Yeah, you can see there it's got the trough icon. And we definitely don't have a trough anywhere. Alright, so that's them sorted. I'll grab these other babies that are about to come out from the other Maywings up here, too. Okay. That's great. You guys chill doing that. We're going to get everything set up. I'm I'm confuzzled about these plants. I want to harvest them, but it, well, yeah, wait and let me. Actually, let's go check our other one. It shouldn't take too long to turn into a fruitling, I don't think. Are you done? You're still a seedling. Okay, we'll just wait. Wait it out, I guess. Let's come down here and check the fish. I want to make sure that they're not starving. But this is, this is pretty good because it's right near our base. But you guys have noticed that... Genesis 2 is, there's a lot of water spots where you can do this. So even if your base isn't near a water spot, just find a spot underneath like a, a notable waterfall that you'll remember and then you can just go out there whenever you want. Okay, let's take a look at the fish. They're not even moving around, so like you don't have to worry about them wandering or anything like that as well, which is great. Close the door behind us, access inventory. Food's not dropping, nothing. These guys are just chilling. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm going to leave them in there, but we've got a, an aquarium now, so whenever we trap some fish which I'll probably just do in my downtime. We just whack him in there. And then when we feel like going to tame a Shadow Mane up, we can just trap them all and uh, and take them out to tame the Shadow Mane up. And I reckon that's a lot easier than going about getting Mega Piranhas, trust me. So, yeah, um, I'm going to see if I can wait for this Tinto Berry seedling to grow up. But, you know what, we might actually go out and try and tame another Shadow Mane next episode, I think. Yeah, I might have to demolish these, uh, pick these crop plots up. I'm just, I don't know if I can get these seeds back. Because I know when you do normal crops, they give you a seed. But I don't know if we can do it with these R seeds. So I'm not too sure. Um, our Maywings have laid eggs. I didn't realize they laid eggs. I thought they gave live birth. It must change, I guess. Yeah, it's got to change. Okay. I mean, they're incubating anyway, so I'm not going to worry about picking them up. 
Yeah, I didn't even realize that they dropped eggs as well. I'm such an idiot. All right. Uh, how are you looking, little dude? Seven minutes. Okay, so we're going to get the imprinting. Well, I'm going to hopefully get the imprinting off on that guy. Uh, nursing effectiveness will raise that up a little bit. I wish there was a thing we could see, the radius. All right, but I mean, I'd say everything's going pretty good, I would say. Are you guys going to mate again? Three minutes. I feel bad for this baby sh shadow main, but at the same time, it should have gotten better stats. Grab this polymer. I don't think there's anything I need to make for the base. We'll go quickly check, I mean. What's the harm? Bringing you guys along. Whoa, while we wait for our Shadow Mane and uh, Maywing babies to raise. I'm still really... Whoa, okay. Massive rubber banding. I'm still really loving this base. Absolutely vibing with it. I'm, I'm contemplating chucking a ceiling up on top of this. We're going to do like a sloped ceiling, but I'm not uh, entirely sure yet. Okay, whack all that in. Let's go load out Mannequin. I know we want one of those. At least one. I don't know what else we could make, really. What else is there with Genesis? Let's take a look. Genesis 2. We've got a canoe. Loadout mannequin. Don't need that. We could put the egg incubator up here. But I don't know if... We'll need to drop the egg again outside externally for it to hatch. I don't think there's any of that I want. I don't think, I, I don't think we really need anything else out here. This isn't even that big. Um, let's whack this probably... You know what? We'll probably do two along this wall. I know I don't have a ladder. So this is going to be slightly triggering if this isn't straight. I mean, it looks pretty straight. Let's whack that there. All right, cool. So we've got a loadout mannequin. I'll probably chuck another one next to it. Um, put dummy all. Fill dummy all. Change DPS evaluation time. Next pose. Rec previous pose. Is there a way I can put... Loadout options? I'm just trying to see if there's a way if I can just whack some armor on it. So it doesn't look dumb. Isn't it supposed to tell us the DPS? Hmm. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to put another one over there anyway, just to fill up this section of the base, because we don't really have anything up here. Um, I need some food, so let me just come down here to my fancy little kitchen over here. And grab some. And we'll check that seedling of the Tinto Berries. But uh, I think, yeah, I think we're... I think our aquarium is a great idea. I would heavily recommend you guys doing it. Obviously, if you're playing on PvP, it's going to be a little bit of a different story. Because you're going to need to play... Do it a little bit smarter. Like, you're going to need to make sure that it's hidden. Make sure... I mean, I don't even know if you would bother doing it on PvP, to be honest. I don't know. It's up to you guys, I guess. That's got 57 seconds. I'm just going to wait for these guys to hatch, and then uh, I'll bring you guys back so you can see the babies. Alrighty, guys. And we've got the baby Maywings hatched. They are so cute. Oh, my God. I love the Maywings. They're so damn cute. All right, so we got one, and we got another one over here, obviously. Let's grab that one. All right, and we're just going to whack them straight into the baskets on, our, on Periwinkle. I don't think we need to worry about... Um, Keeping them on the floor. We'll just keep Perry Mitwinkle breeding with them. Yeah, there we go. I wish there was a way we could uh, have a Maywing in wandering. And then that way, whenever babies would... Like, whenever babies would come around, they would just automatically pick them up. That would be awesome. But I don't think that's ever going to happen. All right, so this guy wants carrying two minutes. These guys want carrying 13 minutes. I checked the fish as well. The fish are fine. There's no food droppage on them or anything. So I think we're pretty cheering about that aquarium idea i was going to build it up here and try and do it in like the little ponds that they've got over there but they're not deep enough so i don't think there's any point in trying to do that but yeah i think just down there is fine um yeah we're gonna wrap the episode up here guys hopefully you enjoyed today if you did don't forget to leave a like subscribe down below for more but other than that guys i'll catch you in the next one